Welcome back to the 2013 NWCA Cliff Keen Division I National Duels here on FCS. We're into the final round. Missouri taking on Purdue. And at 125, it's Allen Waters for Missouri. And for Purdue, it's Camden Eppert, a junior from Anderson, Indiana, who's 20 and eight on the season. The singlets are gonna be a little tough to tell. The word Boilermakers is down the back of the Purdue ones, and you can see there's a gold stripe in the word Tigers on Waters' Mizzou singlet. Allen Waters still undefeated on the year. The junior from Park Hill High School has been ranked in the top five pretty much the whole season. Waters going to work on Eppert here. See if he can turn him for two. Nothing yet. Now he gets the two. Waters did a really good job there, keeping his foot planted in the mat, making sure that uh, Eppert can't roll him through. Eppert ranked in a, the high teens, around 16, 17, 18. As we come into this match, the winner will move on to the finals. That should be a heck of a tournament, I would imagine, with a lot of quality wrestlers up there. Yeah, it's gonna be two days of great wrestling. Matt Mayhem, they call it. Water's still working. He now has 45 seconds of riding time, and there's still a minute and 15 seconds to go here in the first period. We're in Columbia, Missouri. My name is Bo Bayman alongside Todd Chavrin at the Hearn Center at the University of Missouri, home of the Tigers. And right now, the University of Missouri is taking on Purdue in the finals of this region for the 2013 NWCA Cliff Keen Division I National Duels. We're glad you could join us on Fox College Sports. Waters with the two to nothing advantage will go on top here, 51 seconds to go in the first period. Waters already with one minute and 11 seconds of riding time. Allen Waters a dominating figure at 125, the junior from Kansas City. Camden Eppert doing his best to get up, was on his feet for a second. Yeah, Waters is doing a great job of committing on top. Not, not really giving him any breathing room. Even when he rolls around, he keeps his hips tight to him. When they wrestled the first time, Waters beat Eppert 10 to two. And that's gonna be a stalemate. They'll go back to the middle. And as Todd mentioned in the open, Missouri beat Purdue 23 to nine back in that duel, but that was early in the season. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, that was way back in November. Different teams now, as we're about a month away from the national tournament. Yeah, Purdue is uh, really caught fire here late in the season after the loss of Missouri. Um, went through and actually secured a winning record in the Big Ten, which is the most premier conference in the country for wrestling. We're through the first period. Waters with the two to zero advantage and two minutes and one second of riding time. And Waters is down and Eppert will start on top and try to get into that riding time. Waters to his feet, but Eppert still with his hands moving. And Waters escapes and shoots. He's got the one point, it's three to nothing in favor of Waters. Kind of the same position we saw Waters in earlier. Potentially dangerous situation, so they'll go back to the middle. Three to nothing in favor of Allen Waters of Missouri. Waters looking for the shot. Eppert grabs his head. Eppert trying to work on him physically here. Yeah, Waters is doing a good job of just controlling the elbows, not letting him get those elbows short so he can bounce them and run behind. Let's 
see what Waters and Effort have in store here. We're under a minute to go in the second period. Three nothing, Allen Waters. Good defense there from Effort. Forty-five seconds to go. The riding time is stopped at 140 in favor of Allen Waters of Missouri. We'll go back to the middle with 40 seconds to go here in the second period. Purdue took care of Wyoming in the semifinals while Missouri took care of Maryland in the semifinals. That's how they got here. There's a stall warning, but Waters is in on the leg, and that'll be two. The stall warning was on Eppert, but Waters has got two more points. It's five to nothing with short time to go in the second period. And there you have it. 5-0 in favor of Allen Waters of Missouri as we head to the third period. Yeah, the great thing about getting a takedown at the end of the period like that is you give the guy less time to get away and get that one point and you know, thus making it just a two point, a two point takedown as opposed to a one point. Waters, Eppert escapes for one to make it five to one as Waters wants to go back on the offensive. Very nice And he snap. does, and he takes him down for two. Allen Waters with another takedown, and it's seven to one. Riding time hits two minutes here in favor of Allen Waters of the Missouri Tigers. Waters cut him there, try and get that extra one point for the major decision. Which he did, he cut him and then took him down for two again, so it's nine to two. With more than two minutes of riding time. Had another point to Eppert for the escape right before the out of bounds. It's nine to three in favor of Waters. Waters trying to get some extra points. As remember, we're at the national duels, which means it's a team sport. Nice headlock by Allen. Ref hasn't even given him his two points yet, though. There's two. Beautiful takedown. 11 to three. Riding time makes it 12 to three. 35 seconds to go here in the third period. Let's see what else Waters can do with this. And they're gonna call a stalemate with 26 seconds to go. Again, it's 11 to three in favor of Waters, make it 12 to three with the, with the riding time. Waters will get on top, and he's gonna try to get some back time, but a good job by Eppert right there. Knows it's short time. There's some back time for Waters. Very nice job for, by Allen right there. Getting some points Three at the end points. of the period. And that's it. Allen Waters is the winner at 125. The final score, 15 to three. A great job by Allen Waters as he defeats Camden Eppert of Purdue.